tree, if you can see, it overfruited. It has a lot of bearing. So uh, here, it becomes a problem because of uh, you are overstraining the tree. And another thing, you can see the tree was really covered with, the, I mean, the sunburn, effects of sunburn. So it means the tree is so short to hold, it overholded the fruits. So uh, what it was supposed to, to be done was supposed to reduce the number, the number of these fruits in order for the tree to hold good number of fruits. Uh, another thing which they really practice, you can see they clipped, they clipped uh, the tip, tip clipping, whereby to reduce the uptake of nutrients. Instead of nutrients going so far, uh, they limit the travel of nutrients along the tree. So uh, the, tree, the, the, the nutrients were observed by this tree, uh, by these fruits. Mm -hmm. So now the issue comes in that uh, uh, this overbearing has to be controlled. Yes, the tree can hold. We have seen the way it has holded the fruits, but uh, the effect comes in because of uh, nutrients. The nutrients under there, you can see there is no any manure. The manure which was there, it has been taken by, by, the, by the fruits. I, another thing which you see, you can see at the middle of this tree, there is no leaves. It doesn't have enough leaves. It's only that since it has started raining, that's how we are seeing a new shoot. So it means that all the nutrients, instead of going to the vegetation part, it went to the fruits. So as farmers need to check on this, as when, when, the, when the tree forms up a pear shape, a small pear shape fruit, we have to make sure that we supplement. We give it enough manure, we give it enough, enough nutrition to make sure that the tree can accommodate enough, can accommodate enough fruits. So that's all. This is uh, one thing whereby farmers need to be very careful while, while they are feeding their trees or either at the stage where their trees are started forming. Oh, okay. So that is it.